Yo, what's up everybody? Double Wide 6 here, and today's video, I'm just going to show you a quick way to fix a cable on a lawnmower. Okay, so I have a lawnmower handle on my vise, and as you can see, this is the cable I'll be fixing. This one's working, but I'm just going to show you um, how to fix this end if it breaks. Quick, easy way. Here's a close look at the good cable on the right and on the left you have the bad cable. A lot of times these end up breaking right here and you usually have to order a new cable. So one of the things we're going to use for this repair is a piece of uh, landscape cable. This is aluminum cable. It's used for straightening out trees when you're doing landscaping work and this happens to be 16th inch thick cable and you need about seven inches of it so I'm just gonna cut this off about right there so here's the cable I'm going to use first step is to bend it in half and the aluminum works really nice because it bends pretty easy so there it is roughly in half I'm just gonna take a pliers and sort of flatten it out and get it just the way I want it that looks pretty good now I'm just going to use the vise to completely flatten that out. That should be pretty good there. And then you want to take about two and a half inches of the cable and just put it up in the vise. And you could take any type of pliers that will hold that tight. Even uh, locking pliers wouldn't be a bad idea. And you want to give it enough twist that it's wrapped up like that but does not break. Alright, now you got to mimic the bend that was on the original cable. So you want it to start about 5 eighths of an inch down and you want to put a nice 90 degree bend there just like that and then you want to come back and split the difference and for this you're going to need a needle nose pliers to help hold this thing right about there and I'm going to take that end and we're going to make a second 90 okay and that's pretty much the bend that you want you can fine tune it you might need to try again with another piece of aluminum wire but that's basically what I'm looking for it's not that critical okay so the next thing that you want to do is you want to take uh, one of your aluminum wires on here and snip it off right at the the bottom of where it's twisted together so I got one and you want to carefully just snip that there we go alright the next thing that we're gonna do is line this thing up so that it's the right length so this horizontal piece has to line up there about like that and an easy way to get it right every time is to take a paint marker mark that mark this and as long as those two marks are aligned should be good okay now we're gonna make our cuts so I'm gonna leave some excess beyond the red mark here so we'll just snip this off about there and then this one I'm going to cut it right above the red mark. Now we still have our red marks to line up to make sure it's the right length. So here's what you need to make this thing go together. This little union thing. You put the union over the one side and you put the copper, the uh, aluminum wire through the other side and we're going to crimp this thing off being careful to make sure it lines up so let me just make sure that we are where we need to be and uh, in picture all right there we go just making sure it's lined up and then give it a good crimp can do one there and usually what I'll do 
is flip it over and crimp the back side really good as well. All right, that's all it actually takes. All right, so here we go. This is kind of what we're shooting for. And this is obviously the one that we made. And you can see it uh, looks really nice and it's real solid. Okay, so I have the lawnmower handle up where you guys can see pretty easy. And all you do is you, you take your end you feed it through the hole and it should go down this way um, basically just like that and you know like I said you just need to make sure that you measure your cable so that it's the right size and if you need to fold up your handlebars it'll pop right out um, this stuff is you know real strong it's, it's pretty thick aluminum and then when you double it up like that um, so that's how you do it and when I have it here I'll show you one other tip Alright guys, last thing I want to show you is an easy way to unhook these plastic ears. When you put a cable on an engine or on a handlebar, these things lock in there and they get really tight. And uh, I saw a guy on YouTube, uh, his video channel is Terrell Fixes All, and he does small engine stuff. He made a little tool like this it's just a piece of pipe with a hole in it and you put that over the cable and you push it down against and you give it a little twist because the thing is actually elongated and that should allow you to wiggle these loose so he has a sweet channel on YouTube you can check it out you can make this little tool and throw it in your toolbox it's good to have Alright guys, I'm Double Wide 6 and uh, I just wanted to let you know this, this particular fix is good if uh, you know, you're know you fixing a, a mower for yourself or for a friend or some, a guy might drop off a mower and need to use it and you're waiting for the part if you don't have the cable in or something. So uh, you know this is just a good quick fix if you ever need it and you know I don't know how permanent it is but I would think it would hold up for a pretty long time. This little tool, um, this one is made out of 3 8 inch brass, um, so if you have a little pipe like that, you could make one of those. You have to elongate the ends so that when you get it on and turn it, it'll squeeze in these ears. So you see that end's kind of egg shaped and that one's actually round. And then finally, these little cable crimper things. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the video in case you want to get those. Uh, I've had them for several years and uh, I actually need some more. They're real handy to have around the shop. Anyhow, I'm Double Wide 6. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, please comment. I've been uh, answering my comments more regularly. I've just had a little more time. So thanks a lot. Take care.